What's happening there guys and welcome back to our channel. The Swedish band ABBA made a huge impact on the fans and even after almost two decades, people still remember them. However, there are many things about the legendary band that people don't know about and we're here to tell it. Here are five things you probably didn't know about ABBA. Number five, late realizations. While ABBA flourished in Europe during its time, it turns out that there were still many people who weren't very fond of the band. ABBA, just like many other successful groups, was a victim of biased voting, and the group members didn't even know about it back then. When ABBA took part in the 1974 Eurovision Song Contest, the UK gave them no points. Even though their performance at the Eurovision Contest was absolutely mind-blowing, the UK didn't seem to be a big fan of ABBA. It's no doubt that ABBA was one of the most successful bands in all of Europe, coming behind Queen and the Beatles. Despite their iconic performance, they were given zero points by the UK. Back in 1974, each country was only given up to 10 points and the UK decided to give away these points to Israel, Italy, Finland, Ireland and Switzerland. ABBA didn't realize this until 2000 during an ABBA London exhibit. Alveus laughed it off by saying that all this time he thought that the Brits were their best friends. However, it wasn't a big deal for ABBA as they actually won the entire contest with an impressive 24 points. However, this wasn't the only late realization that hit ABBA. One of the members of the group, Anna Fred, actually came to realize in 1977 that her father was alive. She was led to believe that her German father had perished during the war. However, when Anna Fred found her father's biography and her parents' name in a German teen magazine, her reality was altered. We can only imagine how shocking it must have been for her. Number 4. Increasing Sweden's Economy By becoming the world's biggest band at the time, ABBA was also benefiting Sweden's economy in many ways. The tickets for the band's shows were extremely hard to find. Back in 1977, when ABBA announced the dates and locations of their tours, people went nuts. Getting a ticket for their shows was equivalent to winning a lottery ticket. The first venue held space for 2,500 people, but 50,000 people tried their luck with the ticket. Then, for the band's London Royal Albert Hall performance, 3.5 million people tried to purchase tickets, which were enough people to fill the arena 580 times. All of these sold-out shows made the band Sweden's pride. During the early 70s, when the band was thriving, they benefited Sweden with millions of krona. They even became the country's second largest money-making source after Volvo, a car company. Everyone was absolutely stunned at the mind-blowing success. When asked about their secret, Bjorn revealed that it's the multi-cultured music that makes them different from the rest of the world. Number 3. ABBA's Name The history behind ABBA's name is actually quite interesting. Before ABBA, they were actually known as Fest Folk. They changed their name after their success at the Eurovision contest. Their name is derived from the first letters of each member's names. It was their manager, Stig Anderson, who made the decision to name them ABBA. Moreover, ABBA actually had to take permission from the seafood company ABBA for their name. It was certainly a good decision to do so, as they've made ABBA their very own. Number 2. It's Not Chicken the Dancing Queen one of the lyrics of the band's most famous songs goes Chicken the Dancing Queen, but this is actually a big misconception among the fans. The actual lyrics of the song are Digging the Dancing Queen. Moreover, the first single ever recorded by the group is called People Need Love. Number 1. Secret Behind the Funky Outfits ABBA was known for dressing up in elaborate costumes that someone might only wear at a costume party. However, the reason behind their dresses is actually quite clever. It was revealed that ABBA wore these kinds of dresses to avoid paying taxes. There's actually a law regarding taxes in Sweden. According to the law, clothes that can't be considered daily wear are free of taxes. While it was a smart move on ABBA's side, we can safely say that it was the best fashion decision they made. However, one of the members might think otherwise. Olvius once shared that he thought they looked like complete nuts in those costumes. ABBA is indeed a legend in the history of European music. Even after decades, fans still remember the band's legacy 
And now that they're back for more music, we're absolutely delighted. This brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys had a blast breezing through it, and if you did, then do be sure to let us know by smashing that like button, and if you haven't done so already, then do be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you never have to miss out on any more juicy new content in the future. And as always, we'll catch you guys soon in another video. Until then, take care and bye for now.